Zalsa is done. You can tell Clan Mother Shizura that he has quit. Tazia may be able to deal with all this work. Zalsa cannot. Two moons. He thought you were sent to find Zalsa. Clan Mother Shizura has run us ragged for weeks. No wonder her last assistant quit. That Rakad had the right idea. Zalsa is off to try to find a job with Hadran, or perhaps cleaning stalls at the Zrini Arena. Bright moons light your path if you want to try. Clan Mother Shizura holds court in the biggest house in town. Just let no one say Zalsa did not warn you. The Clan Mother likes to be obeyed promptly. Remember this. When you are sad, you did not listen to Zalsa. Moons, yes. Very public. Very angry. Some kind of difference of opinion? Zalsa does not know. Ask the Clan Mother if you'd like to know more. Small things, but they add up. An old man complaining of rats. Someone said their home was haunted. And Zalsa thinks someone said children were stealing their crops. This one welcomes you to her home. She is sorry. Kala is in no mood to chat. Her brother has been gone for many days now. Kala knew this was coming. Yenadar has been away too long. He would have come home to his sister if he could. What has happened? Good luck on the road. And if you find Kala's brother before she does, tell him he will need the blessings of Joan and Jode both to avoid my claws. Ah!
Forgive Split Tongue, his Split Tongue, please. Though many mock him, he still sees his friends about this tree here. It is where we tend to meet and talk of our days, Walker. Every village must have one, no? This one greets you, Walker. Feel free to peruse this one's wares, as do so many of the good people of Sorenja. And should you wish a trade, by all means, let us talk. Shazura will hear your problem, but you must wait your turn. Do you not see all these people before you? Tasia sent you? Or Zalza? For what purpose? What have those lazy attendants done? Nothing has gone right since Rakad, but never mind. What do you mean? Hmm, perhaps. Lately, a few of our clanmates have been on my doorstep day and night. If you were to investigate, Shazura could get some real work done. Excellent. My three loudest kittens are Milk Eyes, Ezag, and Kalari. The clan knows Milk Eyes as a crotchety, blind man. But really, he's a sweet old cat. Rats now live in his well, he says. Shizura is very fond, truth be told, and she does not want him hunting rats in the dark. Ezag is always complaining about something. This week, he says someone is stealing his crops. Shizura thinks it is the local children playing jokes, but he is sure bandits stalk his fields. Poor little Kalari. Of late, she's had bright moons and dark both. Her uncle passed away, but left her his old house. She tried to move in, and now swears the place is haunted. And which of my sad little kittens will you lift from the sand? You'll find his farm southeast of town. Shazura is sure there's nothing to that fat old Khajiit's whining. Your kindness may quiet him down, though, and she thanks you for that. Shazura is sure it will turn out to be nothing, but Ezag must always get his way. Luck to you. What does she not do? Shazura is the clan mother of Srenja, arbiter of disputes, leader in rituals venerating the Two Moons Dance, eldest of the women in the village. I was here first. No, you weren't. This one was Ta! Rakad was my assistant for many years, made himself invaluable. 
Then Shazura finds he has been in contact with the smugglers and skooma dealers from Baalat. Shazura confronted Rakat about his dark dealings. He laughed, said she had become a feeble old cat. She showed him. Had Rakad run out of town, now no one doubts who runs Srenja. There is not much to tell, my new assistant. We are a sleepy town, yes? We trade with Willow Grove, try to keep the men from going to Palat or Hadron's caravan, and the merchants make trips to Dune when we need supplies. I was here first. No, you weren't. This one was... What do you want, stranger? You are in Ezag's light. This one has chores to do. Problem? Make that problems. Chickens eaten by predators, horses down with disease, and the damned fields. Which problem are you here to solve? Moon's blessed savior of Ezag's humble farm? So, John and Jod have chosen you to solve Ezag's problem. Which problem are you here to solve? You've seen the fields here on this stand? Well, crops keep disappearing in the night. Plants just don't up and walk away. Shuzura keeps telling Ezag it's just children playing pranks, but he has lost half his crop this week. It's bandits, David. Thugs and hooligans are taking Ezag's crop. Head down to the field, find their hideout, kill their leader, bring me his head. Ah, on second thought, do not bring Ezag a severed head. He would almost certainly throw up. <laughs> what does it matter? Ezag grows moon sugar, of course. It is a common staple in Reaper's March. We trade it with other villages and sell it in the markets of Dune. Have you ever had moon sugar in crusted ham? Oh, delicious.
left the bloodshed. We should talk. You slaughtered Zurana's men. And now you come looking for her blood, yes? Perhaps there is another way. Rakad's deal was a good one, but it's not worth Zurana's life. We stole the crops, collected the coin, but now... Perhaps you can make her a better offer. Hmm. I don't think you understand. Follow me. Zurana will show you what is really going on. You cross Zurana! Don't you die!
So, Ezag was right, right? It was not children. Ha! Ezag knew it. That Shuzura thinks she is so smart. Did you deal with them? Is their leader lying in a puddle of blood somewhere? Ha <laughs> ha! You have made Ezag's day. No, he's weak. Ezag shall name the next barn he raises in your honor. Not for Ezag, but over cards, this one's friend, Milk Eyes, complains of rats down his well. And his niece, Kalari, just inherited his brother's home. She has said there is something wrong with it. Ghosts? Perhaps you help them, as you did Ezag. Good. Now get gone. Ezag has many chores to do, and has already spent too much time joying with you. Go! Go! Kalari should not have to deal with her father's legacy alone. Apparently her house is haunted. She's Ezag's niece, so normally I would be suspicious. Shiftless family ties, you know? But she is a good sort. Never known her to lie, and a sweet lass to boot. Don't worry about Kalari. Just mulling what she should do next. Kalari is not even sure they are ghosts. She doesn't know what they are. I inherited this house from my uncle Enoch Do. He passed away not too long ago. When my brother Matal and I tried to move in... Ugh, it's bad enough that these apparitions keep appearing and disappearing all over the house. But every busybody in Serenja keeps trying to help Kalari. Be careful in there. Whatever they are, get too close to them and they'll send you flying. Kalari found that out the hard way. Uncle Enak and I were always close, I suppose. Kalari's father died when she was a cub, and after he treated me like a daughter. His only other family in town is my other uncle, Azag. He already has a farm on the edge of town. They began showing up almost immediately after Uncle died. Very strange. Kalari does not recognize any of their faces, and as far as she knows, no one has died in the house. Uncle passed away while on a trip to Dune. Oh, Matal is probably off getting into trouble, again. After our father passed away, my uncles Enoch Doe and Ezag tried to teach him right from wrong. He would never listen. Kalari has barely seen him since we inherited this house.
Did you get any of those ghosts to talk? What did you find? What? Let Kalari see that. Mathal and Enoch were running Skuma? And for Rakad of all people, Shazura's old assistant, Dark Moons and Dull Claws. Kalari does not know. Uh, but wait. Right here in the letter, Uncle says to get Kalari out of the house. And even says, make her think it is haunted or something. Matal, Moon's bless him, is not very creative. Could he be behind the ghosts? Rakad's house. That's where he has to be. She kept seeing him near that well, wandering about. Kalari thought he was just being lazy, drinking water. To do this magic, or whatever it is, he would need a private place. That must be it. What happened? Was Matal in Rakad's house? Illusions? Kalari supposes that makes sense. Matal was always learning little tricks, little. But where is he? Where is Matal? No! Damn it, Matal, you stupid, stupid Khajiit. Why would he do this to himself? Why would he do this to me? Let Kalari read that. So Rakad threatens my life directly, and Matal thinks to save me through fear. The typical thinking of a stupid, stupid brother. He died for Kalari, that idiot. Such a waste. No. Kalari would like some time alone to think now. Perhaps you could help old milk eyes? Kalari reads to him sometimes, and of late he's been complaining of rats in his well. Thank you for all you have done. May bright moons light your path, as they have not done for my family. Kalari will be all right. You will see. Just need some time to deal with what has happened. Go. Speak to Milk Eyes. Yes. Milk Eyes has been in Saranja for as long as I can remember. He likes to take care of himself, but I worry about that kind old man crawling down into his well.
who's there? Tezia! Tell your busybody clan matron I'm not here. Hmm. You're here about the rats, good. I can hear them down in the well. They must have found some way in, a back way. And lately some of the water I stay stayed funny. Eh. I do it myself, but if Clan Mother Shizura found out I'd gone down there, she'd string me up. Get down there, roust out those rats and make sure they can't get back in. All right, you know what's what. Now stop jawing at me and get rid of those rats. Maybe a week. Yes, just over a week. Those nasty creatures have been fouling my water and scrabbling around down there that long. Disgusting. If Shuzura liked me as much as she claimed, she'd have sent someone over sooner. He has no interest in slavery today, thank you. While you were talking to Milk Eyes, Tasia was patching some holes in the well and, well, she fell in. It looks like the old cat has bigger problems than the rats. Do you smell that? They're running a skooma lab down here. Tasia's going to hide right here. She's no smuggler killer. As for what you should do, the chemicals they use are very flammable. You might be able to smash up the tables. Are you well? That was quite a show. Tasia grabbed you, got you out of there. There was an explosion like we hoped, and then smoke and fumes from the skooma. We won't have to worry about that lab anymore. Tasia just did what anyone would have done, she thinks. <clears throat> Tasia, we'll go tell the clan mother what has happened here. You go tell Milk Eyes his rats are gone, yes? Smell smoke. What happened? Mm, a scum -a lab In my will? Get me my blade! It's around here somewhere. 
Right. You'll go back down there together. You'll just point me in their direction and I'll cut them to giblets. <laughs> nice work. I'll get Clan Mother Shuzura to have Daisia seal up the cave, clean up my well and such. She's good at such things. With my skooma peddling rats dead, it should be nice and quiet out here. Why don't you go back to that lecherous wreck of a clan mother and see if she has anything else for you to do, huh? Good. You should know, little one, that you've helped one of the most respected members of our small community, and you have his gratitude. <laughs> Shazura knows how I feel about her. Just make sure to rub it in, eh? Yes, yes. Just don't let her talk down to you, all right? You've helped our village more today than she has in years. <laughs> Shazura has heard you have been all over town, yes? Tasia has told this one of your exploits, your work. A great help to Srenja you have been. This one finds it hard to believe you've dealt with everyone already. You have helped gentle milk eyes with his rats? Skuma dealers in Shazura's town? Dark moons! But then surely you couldn't have also helped cast Ezeg with the children stealing his crops. What? That old buzzard was telling the truth? Fine, fine. Then we should make sure someone looks in on Kaori. Poor little girl is scared to death, thinking there are ghosts in her big new house. Dark moons and dull claws. What has become of my town, my Srenja? Bandits and spells and... Wait a moment. Did you say skooma dealers? Did the name Rakad come up at all as you dealt with these problems? Joan and Joad strike me down. Shazura had thought him run out of town, his dark influence purged from her clan. But no. Stranger, you have done so much for Srenja already. Will you help Shazura, she means Srenja, again? Shazura must admit, she let Rakad too close. She let Rakad do as he pleased for so long. When he was her assistant, Rakad would often use an old cave outside of town for projects. She never asked, because she did not want to know.
What did you find? Did he leave behind some papers? Something to show what's going on in Shazura's town? Shazura is speechless. Did... was Rakad there? There was a time when Shazura knew every plot, every rumor, every story within her village. Now, she cannot even banish a scoundrel like Rakad. Thank you. Please speak to Tasia. She... She'll offer you some coin for your service. You have served this community with distinction. Here you are. I know Shazura is hard to deal with, so Tasia will say what she cannot. Serenja's path is lit by bright moons, all because of you, traveler. From this day forward, you are always welcome in our little town. I was here first. No, you weren't. This one was here long before you. <laughs> <laughs> 